Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm an on one photo raw 2021 and I just I ended up doing something to a photo that I thought was particularly cool for a street shot taken at night. It gives it a kind of a, I don't know what the mood or the, the description is. It looks like a little bit like a nuclear winter. Um, I don't know if that's even the right way to say it, but it looks like a desolate kind of, I don't know, I think it's really cool. I thought I'd share that because it's kind of fun. Um, I've got this photo here taken downtown Austin one evening and it's too dark. So I'm going to brighten that photo up a little bit. And so something about like that. And I'm going to take the highlights down just all the way because why not? And I'm going to drop. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see. The temperature goes about uh, about there, I think. So just basic, really. I didn't do much. Just started with that. And I'm currently there. Uh, and then I popped over to effects because I was like, oh, I'm going to go have some fun. So I start out by having fun with a little bit of HDR look because it's a street scene. It's night. It's dark. It's got graffiti. It's just, you know, it just says, hey, hit me with some HDR, Jim. So I did. So I kind of like that. Not a lot going on, really. I was like, all right, well, what else can I do? So uh, that's one of the things I do. And, and these uh, all these different tools and filters here encourage me to kind of experiment. So I said, well, I'll try color balance. Let me get in there. Let me get in the shadows. And one of the things I like to do is get the shadows and make them kind of blue on uh, street scenes at night because that just feels like the right color for me. So I did that. I put the hue at 220 something. And I got the amount to like 38, 39, something like that. So uh, there you go. I mean, like, I think I went to 224 and then maybe a little bit more, maybe 39 or something. But anyway, it, it's just a little bit of blue and, and I'm adding it to the shadow. And that's because there's a lot of shadow in the photo. And so adding that blue to the shadow really gives the kind of a blue feeling overall. So if I turn that off, you can see it looks a bit warmer. And then when I turn this back on, you can see overall it looks a little bit cooler. And then here's the thing I did. I was like, I, what else can I do? Like, I want to do something fun, different. I just kind of want to make this look like an interesting kind of photo. So I said, you know what I'll do? I'll try a LUT. I like LUTs a lot. I've been playing with them for a couple of years now with my photos. I've really gotten into them, but they're great at, you know, basically changing tone and color values in a photo like that and in ways that you may not come up with on your own. So I clicked on LUT uh, and there's quite a few that are built in here and on one. And that's not the one that I use. But uh, if you get over here to more and you click through as you hover over these, it'll show you the different looks. But the one I ended up using is called Campari. And I like that a lot. See what I mean by like a nuclear winter? It's kind of white and bright, but yet it's still desolate. And the street looks like it's kind of got snow on it, even though it doesn't, because this is Austin. Although this past year, we had a bunch of snow. Anyway, so that's uh, before the LUT. And there it is after. The only thing I did was basically take the opacity down to like maybe 85 or something because it was a little too much. But I love the look of that. I thought that's a cool LUT that I will use on street scenes quite a bit because it gives that kind of desolate, you know, just abandoned. Uh, I mean, it's already got an abandoned kind of feel, I think. It's got a little bit of a grungy feel and all that. But this LUT, I think it just went so well with that overall feeling. And so if I turn that off, there it is before, you know, grungy and all that still. Uh, and I love to shoot these kind of scenes. I don't know what it is. It's not like anyone's ever going to buy these photos. Sometimes you just kind of got to do it because you want to do it. And so I take a lot of these kind of shots. But that was it before the LUT. And then after the LUT, I was like, that looks like something that you would see in, I don't know, some tiny town in Russia, I feel like. And I've never even been to Russia. I'm just going based on what I see in the movies. But it looked cool, I thought. So I wanted to share it with you because that Campari LUT is pretty, pretty wicked looking. I think it works well on this kind of photo. So that was it, my friends. Just a quickie showing off that LUT because it's cool. If you haven't used the LUT tool, let me know. I can come back and do a particular video about it. And in fact, um, there are so many filters in here that um, I've been thinking about doing a series on a lot of the different filters. If you want me to do some deep dives or something like that, let me know. I may come back around and do some of those things here and on one. Thanks for watching, my friends. Hope this gives you some ideas, a little bit of inspiration. And one more time, the before and after, no LUT and nuclear winter LUT. It's just fun. I'm having a good time with it. Hope it gives you some ideas or inspiration. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll catch you in the next video. You guys take care of yourselves and adios.